Welcome to Construct Tech TV. This week, we're going to take you from Gatlinburg to San Diego as we uncover the top tech trends in construction. This week, we're going to look at your connected office, rebuilding Gatlinburg, a Hyperloop capsule, the project of the week, and building the wall. Now, there's a lot to talk about there, so let's start today in your office. We often talk about the job site. So let's paint a picture of what the connected office is actually going to look like in the future. I think it's pretty exciting. So what if I told you you will soon have virtual assistants? Now, how many of you ever really think about that? Now, I know I want a virtual assistant right here. But I'm sure you could also use a few of those in your office for all of the workflows that you need to have improved. So many companies are looking to address this. Now, one example is Xerox. And I love what Xerox is doing because it's looking to turn printing devices into connected workplace assistants. Now, just think about that visual for a minute because in this case, the devices can print drawings for construction. So if you really look at that, the opportunities are truly endless. I envision virtual assistants ordering all kinds of materials automatically. They will tell you and workers where they need to be, even when they need to be there. They will help automate all kinds of processes. The data already exists in your systems. But the real question is, are you ready to get connected in your office? Do you recall hearing about the Gatlinburg, Tennessee fires? Last November, more than 2,400 structured homes were damaged. Now the town is rebuilding. Manufactured and modular homes have come to the city's aid. These specialized homes are helping to rebuild communities in times of need quicker than ever before. Just look at what happened to Sandra and Trevor Cates. The fire took their home. Clayton Homes was able to deliver a manufactured home in less than two months. Manufactured homes are built in a controlled factory environment and then are transported to the site. The Manufactured Housing Institute says the overall number of homes shipped was up by 15% in 2016. It's nice to see Gatlinburg leveraging this home building method to help them rise from the ashes. From homes in Gatlinburg to transportation in France, our next tech trend is the Hyperloop. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies was founded in 2013 from a crowdsourcing incubator. The concept is to improve inner city transportation. Now, for those of you who are wondering, the high speed transportation system first came about by Elon Musk, who envisioned making public transit safe and fast. And the idea is really a wonderful one. Three years later, thousands of hours of research, the first capsule is actually here. So how cool is that? However, the high-speed system isn't really just here yet. But the good news, though, is we are getting a sneak peek. The official reveal will be here early in 2018 at the R&D Center in France. The real question, though, is are you ready to ride the Hyperloop? Today's project comes from Greensboro, North Carolina. It is the new home for the bb and Leadership Institute. So let's take a look inside. The structure will provide leadership development programs. It is a 58,000 square foot project. It will include meeting spaces and guest rooms. Gotta love the wooded setting and the comfortable environment. The structure will leverage face-to-face -face and virtual sessions. This fits with the theme of the program, creating the next generation of effective leaders. The Institute is currently under construction and plans are to open in early 2018. Next up, San Diego and the wall. Yes, that wall. There has been a lot of conversation and even debate about the government's proposed border wall. But I'm mostly interested in how it's going to be built. One company is hoping to bring some patent pending technology to the project. Single Eagle, which does business as Concrete General Contractors Interstate, has submitted an RFI on the design of the wall. It is proposing using its Icon Wall solution to this project. The bid specifically addresses how it can help build the controversial wall. An Icon Wall uses a horizontal cast method. 
and it can be created on site. It uses concrete to connect the tilt-up panel to the footing. It also offers some pretty nice aesthetics for both sides. This is actually one of a number of companies expected to bid on the project. Time will tell who wins the bids for the most talked about wall in the hall of all your companies. That's your tech update for today.